Salamander is the common name for a group of hundreds of amphibian species with slender bodies and long tails, many of which are endangered. Although superficially similar to lizards, the slimy tetrapods are not reptiles and are more closely related to frogs and toads, distinguished by their lack of scales and claws and by their moist, usually smooth skin. When trying to decide if I wanted to feature salamanders or lizards, I had a look into the Komodo dragon, the largest lizard in the world, reaching up to 10 feet, but opted for the salamander due to interesting legends related to fire. The tendency of many salamanders is to dwell inside rotting logs, and when placed on a fire, the salamander would attempt to escape from the log, lending to the belief that they were actually created from flames. Also, salamander's limb regeneration has been the focus of significant interest in recent years, as stem cell research may lead to artificially recreating the phenomenon in humans. Want! Salamanders begin their life cycle as tadpole-like larvae, breathing through gills at first before undergoing metamorphosis, sprouting limbs and sometimes lungs. Other salamanders, such as those in the Plethodontidae family, never grow lungs and actually breathe by absorbing oxygen directly through their skin. Another nice quality for the human desire list. But this will only be possible as long as we have salamanders to study, and at the rate things are going, we don't have much time left to save them. One specific species, the critically endangered axolotl, is only found in Lake Xochimilco in Mexico City, where there are only about 1,000 left. The axolotl is one of the only salamanders that does not undergo full metamorphosis, retaining its gill fringes and living its life entirely in the water. Invasive species of carp and tilapia introduced to Lake Xochimilco are among the axolotl's greatest threats, not to mention humans, many of whom consider its roasted meat a delicacy. And they totally look like mud kips. Another critically endangered species is the Chinese giant salamander. Growing up to 180 centimeters long, it is the largest salamander in the world. Like most endangered salamanders, the Chinese giant is threatened by habitat loss, pollution, but mostly due to human consumption. You know how people are. They'll eat practically anything, whether it's legal or not. Breeding and reintroduction programs have been in place since at least the 1970s, but solid data on their effectiveness has yet to be seen. Additionally, water pollution, deforestation, disease and global warming are thought to be amongst the main causes of the salamander population decline. As a whole, they are widely distributed, mostly throughout the Americas, Europe and Asia, though each species generally occupies a narrow altitude band, so when the temperature of their natural habitat shifts, they tend to have a difficult time migrating. The Ozark Hellbender salamander has recently dwindled due to increased levels of nitrogen and phosphate from fertilizers and contamination by human and animal waste. The Barton Spring salamander is in a delicate situation with habitat loss and modification from water quality and water quantity degradation. The California tiger, the Cheat Mountain, Desert Slender, Flatwoods, Red Hills, San Marcos, Santa Cruz Long Toad, Shenandoah, Sonora Tiger and Texas Blind are just a few examples of the severely endangered salamanders, with over a hundred mentioned on some lists. Dramatic declines in amphibian populations on a global scale, including population crashes and mass localized extinctions, have been noted since the 1980s from locations all over the world. At a rate far exceeding that of birds and mammals, these declines are perceived as one of the most critical threats to global biodiversity, and as of this year, the IUCN Red List notes 486 critically endangered amphibians. Sadly enough, one of the very largest factors to the decline of all amphibians, including salamanders, is actually a natural cause. On the 16th of February 2007, scientists worldwide met in Atlanta, Georgia to form a breeding program called the Amphibian Ark, an effort to save more than 6,000 species of amphibians from disappearing. You can find conservation efforts by several organizations such as the Amphibian Conservation Alliance and the World Wildlife Fund to help further studies on amphibian extinction and educate people on the issue at hand. For many ecologists fear that a decline in amphibians is the most likely sign that the rest of the animal kingdom will follow.